through this secret passage here. Oh, oh, I have to go all the way around, do I? <laughs> Don't like the looks of that at all. But there are monsters inside of there. So, oh god, these guys again. And for that fight, we get the Mute Dagger. Uh, now, I don't think I'm going to be using that very often. Uh, yes, I still have a couple toads in my party here. Let's fix that ball on here. Heal. Heal. Congratulations, you are now healed. And I believe that Edge is the only person I can use that mute dagger. 106, 91. Just like I thought. Not nearly as good. Uh, but it does have a chance to inflict a mute, which is kind of nice, especially on a fight like that. But I would like to use that on en well, all enemies, not just one. And I believe that only works on one. Ugh. At least it's just three of them, though. Let's head back down here with that annoying fight out of the way once again. Really? Ugh. Just annoying fights, really. At least Rosa gained a level out of that. She was able to learn uh, Cure 4, which is nice. Do you need to cast Float again? Cure 4? God, that's expensive, though. 40 MP! But at least it heals you completely. Let's head up here, and now we can get all those treasure chests we couldn't get before. We get a Cure 2, Ether 1, Lightning Arrows, Ice Arrows, and Fire Arrows. All of the mental arrows must be mine! Now let's back down here, and yes, we do have to cast Float again, even though we've been on this floor before. Anytime you go up and down stairs, it ruins everything! Everything I say! And we also get in more fights with the same damn things. Now we need to head back to the stairs that I passed up before. God, backtracking around here is not fun because of these fights, to be honest with you. But do we have new enemies on this floor? Just, just all ghosts. So let's head down here. We can grab uh, the chest. I did class float on myself off screen after that battle. Uh, so no more damage. Hooray. That would have been 150, 300 on the way back. So avoid that if you can. And we've made it to a town? What the hell is that? Oh, and we have a centipede. And oh, crap. Let's, uh, God, let's flame? Let's go for flame? Bugs are weak to fire, I swear. Ah, crap. Down goes Rosa. Down goes Kane. That is not good. Right, I'm starting to run out of heals. I've been using them so damn often. Should have probably used Radio 2 attack, but I mean... Really? Oh, it didn't work anyway. Just give me, give me her back, and then you can, you can heal Kane. Okay, we need, we, we need to start doing the. Oh, and he's silenced and confused and all that good stuff. Hooray! All right, let's go for a life potion here. Now that the the, the heal that I gave him was useless, let's go for fire. No, let's let's call Jin forward here. Jin, your assistance is required. Digest. Ew. It's gross. Don't eat my party members. They're not tasty. Let's go for another flame. I want you guys to die. I hate you guys with passion. Hit the centipede, why not? Go, Jin! Fire attack! Enough to take out most of it! Nice! And then, uh, that, that one's kind of useless. Hopefully this last small ball will go down soon. In other games are known as Marlboros, Malboros, uh, mall ball's kind of weird to me. Uh, we get 1265 gil, 4960 experience! Hooray! Let me heal. So let's head now into this building. Is there anything in here? That would be just way too obvious. Yes, of course, it would be too obvious. There's nothing in that jar. What the hell? Humans? What the hell are you guys? What are you doing here? Get out! Nobody likes you! Is that... Is that Yang? I won't let you take him! He had collapsed in front of this cave and has been unconscious since. Aren't we doing enough? I think it's Yang. I think it's Yang, you guys. I want Yang. 
definitely Yang, since we got Cat Claws and Poison Claws out of those chests. So yes, feel free to, to sell what, what you had for him before, because you get his best stuff right back. Let's head up here. What, what's going on? What, what's, what's here? No! We made it outside. No, why did I do that? Fine. I'll rest out here and I'll re-enter the cave. I think this is how you're supposed to do it, but still! What the hell, game? What the hell? Alright, healed and saved once again. Let's head back into the cave. Uh, I'm keeping this on screen because this is actually going to be a different path than we had gone before. Uh, I like doing it this way, going through once uh, and then going uh, for this. Well, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, this is just the way that I like doing it. I think you can actually do it in one go, but I don't actually do it that way, so I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure you can now. What am I doing? I need to float. Everybody. Because, if you remember, we never actually went down over here. So, let's go down there. And this leads us to the third basement, and you can see the cabin down there where Yang is already. But we don't need to actually go there yet. I don't think I need to cast float on this floor at all because I didn't see any green oh yes I am going to need to do it uh, actually it's just 50 cure 2 ah I thought I was going to be able to get away with that and we found a charm rod in there always nice and then there is a secret passage through here hooray secret passages for everybody it doesn't look like we can get all those treasure chests or anything down there, so we must head up here, which is pretty much our only option. Now I do need to cast Float. Uh, well, I used... I lost 100 HP. But that's not too bad. Not too bad. I should have definitely casted it, though. Let's head back down here. And now we can grab these treasure chests that we saw before for a cure 2, 3,000 gil, a heal, and 2,000 more gil. Keep on heading down to find the same enemies. Let's keep heading down here and you can get oh, quite a few treasure chests and it looks like a hole. Cure 2, cure 3, always appreciated. Heal, I need a few of those, thank you. And an ether, always nice as well back to the third floor it is now uh, we can actually head further through the third floor this place gets kind of complicated doesn't it so I don't actually think you can go through this all in one thing you need to go through it twice unfortunately so this is the way you should do it I guess then so it's the way that I've done it at least but I do always like going for the the completion route first and then the treasure route second so let us head over here, and I don't see any treasure. <gasps> no, it's all open. It's all open. Nowhere to go but to step on the tile, which takes me to another room. Once again, going to have to have cast float because every tile here is poisoned, it looked like. So, what do we have over here? We have monsters. Do we have new monsters? No, we have ghosts. But for that fight, you get an elixir, which is nice, I guess. But we get more monsters down here. Same ones, though. Same ones. And for that fight, we get a full moon boomerang. That is finally our first upgraded boomerang for Edge. He's been needing one. He's been on the standard one for quite some time now. So let's go ahead and put that on from 108 to 128. Definitely a good upgrade. But as you can see, I need to heal. With that done, let's grab this other treasure chest with more monsters. Are, are we seeing a theme here? Because I am. And for that fight, we get the Avenger Sword. Just in time, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can equip that on Cecily. He's on the defense sword, of course. He's got 125 attack. And where is the sword. He cannot equip that sword, so it must be for Edge from the Ninja Sword, which gives him 128 with the full moon. He cannot equip that either. Kane? You got this! You're still on the drain. I mean, 
you've been using that forever. Nobody can use the Avenger Sword, apparently. Too bad. Too bad. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Oh no, who knew that monsters were going to come my way. And for that fight, we get another elixir for those six ghosts. I don't know if you guys saw those. But we have more monsters in here. Is the top row easier? Yeah, top row's easier. And for that fight, we get another elixir. Plus, Rydia has learned Ice 3, her next magic ability. And we have more monsters, same ones. No, we have two centipedes, but still seen centipedes before. Holy crap, those guys are easy as hell, but we get 10 Medusa arrows out of them. That one shot at them both. Well, one shot at each, so two shot at them, I guess you could say. And we can head over here, which will warp us out of the cave. Now I do need to rest once again. All right, now we are done with that cave. We are done with it forever. So, we can head back to where we were supposed to be before. We can head and, you know, here's Tomra, here's the sealed cave, and we will be taking that on, finally, next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I've been Baller Scuba. I have been joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Radia Kane, Rosa, Rosa, Cecil, and Edge. When we come back, we'll be finally going into that cave with all our side questing done. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.